Adam Noble Forsey here for FightTalk.net and with trainer Johnny Edwards. How you doing, mate? Good, Adam. Thank you. Brilliant. So uh, we've had uh, Rowan weigh in, ready for the fight tomorrow. Uh, we've had George Lamport weigh in for the fight tomorrow. And then you've got Nayla Ball and Nick Webb and Derek Renfrew, I believe. Is that? Yeah, they're all weighing in at 3 p.m. tomorrow. So you've got five on the card tomorrow on Siesta Boxing's uh, Boxing Carnival. Um, how's it been, the lead up to this, this event, mate? Well, obviously with five on the same show, it's been uh, busy, you know, busy in the gym. But I've got a good team around me, Lenny Fletcher, Nayla Ball, uh, uh, Casey Kinden. Yeah. And also um, George's dad, Terry, gives us good help. And they're all prepared perfect, all come through the sparring. We have a lot of in-house sparring, but we've had um, loads and loads of sparring coming in. And they've all come through it injury-free, so that's the main thing. Yeah, well, I was talking to Rowan, he's been sparring Chris Eubank Jr., yeah, he did. went down to Brighton. <coughs> Ronnie Excuse always me. contacts us for sparring, and it was a good challenge for Rowan. Excellent. And it was a good challenge for Chris Eubank as well. So Excellent, good to hear that. Um, obviously, I've seen videos of uh, Luther Clay and Rowan sparring as well. Um, I was talking to a lot of the boys about what's it like, or it, is, do they find it beneficial, should I say, to be all fighting towards the same sort of date in the same gym? From a coach's standpoint, would you would you agree with that? Does does it make life a little bit easier? Or? Yeah, they've all been training as a unit, uh, all, all one goal, all in the gym the same time, all competing, and yeah, it's, it's been it's been a very 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 good camp from all. No, so a sort of team atmosphere team environment you got. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, so let's go through the the fights. We've got, we've got a co-main event. We've got George Lamport against Conrad uh, Stemkowski. Um, both undefeated records. Uh, a lot of people, obviously, I, I'm getting phone calls about the 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 card. Um, a lot of people are saying that's the best fight on the card. What, what do you make of it? Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best fight on the card, but it's definitely both got. Um... It's one of the best fights in the card, isn't it? You've got Luther on there, you've got Rowan on there, both undefeated. But let's talk about George and Conrad. And Conrad, the George is five and zero, Conrad's eight and zero. You know, they've boxed a couple of similar people uh, on the way up, and they're both putting it on the line at this early stage. And you know, it's got to be a challenging fight, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to so see. As from a fan's standpoint, it's good to see young fighters taking these. Very dangerous fights at such an early stage in their career, which um, says a lot yeah, about their George character. Yeah, George is only 21. But we're, yeah, we're, we're still a baby, isn't he? We're confident that he can come through this, take his 8-0, put it on our record, and we, we climb the rankings. And next year we can really challenge for a good title or something. Yeah. There seems to be a little bit of buzz, well, quite a bit of buzz around George Lamport at the moment. Um, obviously, following him from, from his last performance on at the same same venue as well. Um, how, how far do you think you can take George Lamport, obviously I know you're not looking too far ahead of what we have tomorrow night, but what, what when you first took George on board, what what did you think you could do with him? Well, we just take it, because he was so young, uh, he's still only 21, Yeah. so we just want to get still his really young, fights, whatever, and then we're just going to go the conventional route, look for the southern area after this. Yeah, that'd be nice, uh, that'd be nice. Maybe, maybe not after this, but definitely within the next five, six months we'll look for the southern area title. And we go from there, and we just keep building, building, and go from there. We're not we're just looking one fight at a time with George, but personally, I think he, he he's more than British level. So. Excellent. Okay, so very exciting times um, for him then. Um, who else we've got? We've got Naylor Ball against Kamil Sokolowski. He's got he's taken out a couple of British prospects before. Um, he fought David Price as well. So Naylor Ball's really stepping up. Really stepping his level up, up on the opposition. Uh, Naylor again is still another young fighter at twenty one, but we feel. Now is the time just step him up that little bit more. Come through this fight, you know, he's matured a little bit more over the last six months. Okay, nice. His, his, his defence has come on again, but Naylor's been doing some terrific rounds with Dillian White. Excellent. Derek Chisora, and look, we have Nick Webb in the house as well. Yes, yeah, so you got that. So, so we're, we're confident that this is the right right time for Naylor to step up. Um, and, you know, Naylor's right under the radar, but he's, he's creeping up. He's ranked 23 or 24 in the country in a minute come through this contest it's a challenging contest then we're going to be in the top 20 and you know we're just and next year we'll make a bit of a noise you know? yeah you're sort of looking at the similar thing with Naylor as you're doing with George sort of conventional routes southern exactly. area things like that so, exactly I say he needs some challenging fights um, he's, he didn't box eight months his last day I mean, we boxed here back in July come through that good and yeah people forget early. that actually so that's a good point you know, let's concentrate on this fight because as you say uh, he's he, he's in with a tough opponent. 
Excellent. Um, who else? We've got Rowan Day against Ryan Todorov. Another two undefeated fighters going up against each other. Uh, interviewed Rowan. Um, he's moved down to welterweight. Um, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about. Bang on. We got him bang on uh, championship weight today. Yeah. He looked, he looked good, healthy as well. He, he looked, looked healthy, good. He looked strong. Again, um, sparring with George plus loads of other Derek Renfrew. You know, terrific sparring at Guildford. Luther done some good rounds with him. Yeah, that's been um, going around social so. media. So we're confident again Rowan will come through this another two or three fights then we'll be looking probably for the Oris title for him yes I was just talking to him about that actually he's, so. he's a little bit a little bit older a little bit mature so we're going to go you know, a couple of fights and then we'll go for the Oris yeah title. he's like mid-20s isn't he Rowan yeah, so it. yeah excellent terrific talent um one to watch. Yeah, that'd be a really good fight as well, that one coming up. Um, and obviously we've got Nick Webb against Dorian Darch. Um, Nick came has come off a, a big loss to Dave Allen on a sort of big platform on Matchroom Sport. There's been a couple of interviews going around, actually, yesterday about that. There's a little bit of needle between the two. Um, how is, first of all, how is Nick? How, you know, he's come off a defeat. He was previously undefeated. How, how's it been like as a coach to deal with those sort of issues with Nick. You know, we've looked at the video uh, of that fight. Good luck to Dave Allen. He, he found the shot. But Nick was doing nothing wrong at all from that little switch off or, you know, prior to that fight. It was 10 seconds left of the fourth round. Nick got a shot, went down, but we was back in the gym I, 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 the week later. So he wasn't really hurt you know, too bad or not anything really like too that? really too bad. It's, you know, we've been working on his defences and, and Nick Nick's a terrific fighter, a terrific fighter. Uh, and you know we get this little comeback fight. It's still a good challenge from Dorian Dart. Yeah, of course. You know yeah. we've got to be on a game for that. Um, but, but Nick's a beast. Yeah. And um, you know there's big things for Nick to come. Yeah. And as you say, there's a bit of uh, social media stuff with Dave Allen. And yeah. Nick, yeah. So. Which is is good. Keeps it spiced up. But um, nobody's seen the best of Nick Webb yet. Yeah. So is a Dave Allen rematch? That's something yeah, in your sights. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excellent. So I think we've covered. Have we covered? Oh, Derek Renfrew. He's in a he's in a tough fight as well against Yelton Nevis. Um, he's been talking about wanting to go for the Scottish title and things like that. Um, how's Derek been since his last? Derek fight? again. We've moved him up to super middleweight from middle, um, and he looks healthy, strong. Again, done terrific rounds with Eubank. Brilliant in our sparring, and uh, he's come for everything. Really, really come on, Derek. Yeah, okay, excellent. And Good to hear. Yelton needs to know him because uh, Felix Castro's second pro fight. It gives Felix a, a bit of trouble, but Felix come through it. Gives it everyone a bit of trouble, yeah. Felix overtried a little bit, but so I know a little bit about Nate and Hughes, and we're definitely, definitely it's a good fight for Derek at this stage. Thanks. First six rounder for Derek, so we give him a good challenge. Brilliant. Well, but um, Derek, we're, you know, he's a little um, sleeping giant. Yeah, okay, he, good. I'm looking forward to he's that. He's awkward and he's a good fighter. Excellent. And a good man. Yeah, he's a very good man. Very nice guy. Um, well, excellent. Well, good luck tomorrow night, John. Um, I'm really looking forward to the show. I um, you. hope all your boys can put on a yeah, good performance it, again. Yeah, this is a terrific venue because all, all my fighters are within 20 miles of here, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. it's a good location, isn't it? Right good off location. the motorway. Yes, always puts a good show on. So Yeah, should be good fun. Excellent. And, uh, I had a bit of eye infection, so that's why I look like cheap. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Well, thank you very much for talking to Fight Talk, John. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Bye.